I think when you look at the, the public sector, is it has a huge spend and it has the huge opportunity to balance the, the markets and the trends and actually redress the, the issues that have emerged through a history of any country, not just South Africa. Um, we have this with the UK as well. So it's, it's, it's a difficult situation to manage because what we have to do is balance the fact that to create a, a redressed solution often requires you to overshoot the, tr the true objective and then to come back to some level of moderation. The challenge that faces is that it quite often seems punitive to the areas that are going to lose out in that transformation. Um, and, but it still requires due diligence, it still requires care and careful consideration from those procurement professionals who have a huge amount of power to make a great deal of difference very quickly. And so the issue there is not just forcing issues through using blunt instruments like buying power, but actually using a much more strategic view in terms of how do we use the influence, the due diligence, the processes that procurement can bring to bear in a transparent way so people can see what is being achieved but also how it is being achieved because as we know there will be people who are not happy with the solution but if they can understand why it was generated and how it was generated there's a chance they will grudgingly accept what's come through rather than see it as some sort of fix and almost an extension of a political party within a political structure and government organisation.